Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing a cleaning power hour. So it's basically as much stuff as you can get done within an hour, or it could be 15 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever time you have. It's just about getting it done when you have the time. So I'm gonna be focusing on the upstairs, the kids' bathroom, the hallway. My baseboards are so dusty, and of course, gonna be throwing in a load of laundry. I just did my big shopping order. So like all my refills for laundry stuff, face products, personal care, all that stuff. So I'm just gonna be refilling. And I know I pretty much always get asked on like the jars and the labels and all the stuff in the laundry room. I will link everything down below in the description so that you can find it. I haven't wiped this counter down in a while and the dust and just like the lint and everything from it being the laundry room really builds up. So I like to just use my hand vac. It works super well with a really soft brush at the end. I also like it for dusting like all the fake plants in the house, even like blinds or if you have anything that's like really tough to dust or you don't wanna use a Swiffer and like kind of get it all over the place, that works really, really well. So I'm gonna be restocking some of my personal care items and I keep these in my linen closet, just in clear bins so that I can see what I have, what needs to be refilled. I get just the Kirkland face wipes, love them from Costco. They also sell a huge thing of the Neutrogena. I prefer those, but you can see this is my linen closet. Everybody's like, oh, your house is so clean. You don't even need to. It's like, no, the camera doesn't really show things as well. So it was covered in dust. And I just want to give everything a nice clean in there so it's fresh. Moving on to my stairwell. I have not dusted in a while, as you can see. But that's okay. So again, using the Bissell with that soft brush attachment, picks up the dust, one, two, three, and it looks perfect again. So at this point, I have about 30, 35 minutes left, and I'm doing this after dinner in between picking up my daughter. So I had like an hour to kill or so. So that's when I like to try to just, you know, if I have a burst of energy, let's just get it done, set the timer. So my goal was to finish vacuuming the upstairs. The hallway has not been vacuumed in a while. And then I'm gonna be moving on to tackle the kids' bathroom. And these runners are amazing. I got them at Walmart. They're the My Texas House. They're so affordable, not to mention, they like do not stain. And if you needed to, you could even take them outside and power wash them, but I am so, so impressed with them. So for the kids' bathroom, I'm gonna be doing pretty much the work. So vacuuming, mopping, cleaning the vanities, cleaning the sinks. The only thing I'm not going to be doing is the tub in the shower because it is very rarely used, like very rarely. They pretty much always use either the other bathroom or um, my bathroom just because it's easier. It's like one less shower and tub to clean. Now that we finally got everything put away, I'm moving on to cleaning the countertops. 
and the sinks. So for the sinks, I'm going to be using the Lysol. This is the one with the hydrogen peroxide. I love this. It's so good. I will link everything down below so you can check it out if you want. And I just use like a regular cleaning sponge on the soft side. Works perfect. And then I'll show you how I get my faucets nice and sparkly. I just use like a glass cleaner. So whether it's like Windex or like the Method, anything that works for glass will get these chrome looking nice and shiny and sparkly. And quick note, shame on me for not using gloves. I usually always use gloves when I'm cleaning with any chemicals, but this is just soap and water for the countertop. So just regular old dish soap mixed with some hot water, a nice cleaning rag, and it just works beautiful for cleaning my quartz countertops. So this is that Method Glass Multi-Surface Cleaner. I really like it, but I recently bought Windex again. It's been like a little wild, like the rain fresh scent, and I forgot how much I love Windex. So once your faucet sink is clean, I just spray either Windex or a glass cleaner like I'm doing right now onto the microfiber rag. And it gets like anything like chrome or like these crystal knobs. Just gets some very shiny, removes all the fingerprints and looking new again. The toilet is not too bad because I've been having to clean it pretty much every day. My little guy is now potty trained, so it's a lot of fun in the bathroom, constantly cleaning. I am using wipes that I got at like Dollar Tree or Dollar General. I will never use them again. They just, they smelt so awful, but I was out of my regular just like Target brand wipes and I needed to use something, so... So I'm not even going to link them because I wouldn't recommend them. They're just, they're not great. Something I always recommend though are the Clorox Toilet Wand. These are just great. So convenient, so easy, no mess, and just, just so easy. I can't, I can't like them enough, truly. And then I'm using the Swiffer. I believe this is the Centivia wet wipes, the disinfectant wet wipes. I love using these on the tile. I find that they work really, really well. They can get a little sticky if you use too much product, so you just have to be careful not to leave too much on, but just leaves my tile very nice, clean, shiny, and beautiful. So my cleaning power hour is just about up, so that is it for this week. I will see you guys next week. Bye, guys. Change your thing, cause we're